Once, upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my buck's surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purpled curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating, to some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This is his, and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam. Truly your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there wandering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the darkness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore, merely this and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely this is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, Wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonium shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore.